Harsh weather conditions, at the top of the list are fin stabilizers, the fighter jets of the sea. Most modern ships now deploy these adjustable wings that work much like the ailerons on an airplane. On U.S. Navy ships, fin stabilizers are especially critical to maintain stability in rough seas and maximize the effectiveness of weapon systems. Due to the Navy's mission of operating for long periods at sea while conducting precision strikes and bombing runs, fin stabilizers are an operational necessity. They counteract constant rolling and pitching motions, allowing the ships to steady their platforms and steady their hand even in rough weather. Without fin stabilizers, conducting lengthy missile strikes and bombing runs would be nearly impossible in anything but calm seas. For the Navy, fin stabilizers turn potentially unstable vessels into warships capable of precise coordinated lethality in challenging ocean conditions. They are a crucial technology that helps the Navy comply with its model to maintain freedom of the seas around the globe. Gyroscopic stabilizers are another example of the new advancements in naval engineering. They work just like the tires of a bicycle, as long as the tires are spinning, the bicycle will stay upright. Just like this, a gyroscopic stabilizer consists of a vacuum-enclosed sphere with a flywheel in it, which is designed to spin at a high speed of around 10,700 rpm. This spinning of the flywheel creates angular momentum, which in turn produces torque. The torque essentially pushes and pulls the ship to keep it as level as possible. Interestingly, it can be operated through a computer-controlled system. This constantly adjusts the attitude or tilt of the gyro, allowing it to provide full torque in a wide range of sea conditions. Moreover, to mitigate damage from potential capsizing events, self-riding vessels are increasingly being developed. That's right, boats that can automatically operate themselves after capsizing. Such technology could prove invaluable for the U.S. Navy, allowing smaller crafts like ribs or rigid hull inflatable boats to quickly self-right and resume operations after unexpectedly rolling over in heavy seas. Self-riding vehicles often have weighted keels, bottom ballast tanks, or angled hulls that provide a riding moment once the boat rolls past a certain angle. Upon sensing a capsize, onboard computers can immediately activate pumps to shift water between tanks, providing an assist to the natural riding process. Maintenance and inspection, with all these sophisticated systems in place, maintaining and inspecting them on a regular basis is a top priority for the U.S. Navy crew. As expected, warships must remain operational 24-7 to perform all their functions at the level of near perfection. So proper maintenance of ships is essential in order to identify and address the issues beforehand that could potentially turn into a safety hazard in the future. This requires a highly skilled and dedicated team of sailors and engineers to perform duties such as cleaning, painting, repairing, and upgrading. Such maintenance tasks are divided into two main categories, preventative maintenance and corrective maintenance. Preventative maintenance is all about staying one step ahead of the trouble. It is otherwise known as planned maintenance system, lubricating machinery, fluid level correction, functional tests, performing visual inspections, and vibration measurements are some of the fundamentals of preventative maintenance. In short, preventative maintenance makes sure that every nut and bolt is in its right place. On the other hand, corrective maintenance comes into play when a ship has experienced a failure, a malfunction, or damage. It basically comprises repairing and restoring the onboard equipment. Remember, ships are undoubtedly expensive to operate but their costs may skyrocket if an equipment breakdown occurs at sea, necessitating emergency repair. Therefore, preventative maintenance helps keep operating costs in check while reducing the risk of equipment breakdowns that could lead to capsizing. In addition to these procedures, dry docking and overhaul maintenance are also conducted. To understand them, dry docking removes the ship from the water into a basin, allowing inspection and maintenance of submerged parts like the hull, propellers, and rudders, work not possible underwater. Meanwhile, overhaul maintenance involves disassembling, inspecting, repairing, and reassembling various ship systems. Every system on U.S. Navy ships must be in top condition to withstand unexpected storms. Neglect means risks at sea, and there's no room for surprises out there.
Weather forecasting, speaking of surprises, the U.S. Navy works tirelessly to avoid encounters with harsh weather conditions, staying away from routes that could be impacted by storms or typhoons. It's no wonder that the weather at sea can be quite unpredictable, and that's the reason why forecasting is so important during maritime operations. Advanced weather forecasting and real-time monitoring systems assist the U.S. Navy crew in Planning routes and navigating adverse weather conditions, let's have an overview of the advanced and sophisticated weather forecasting systems of the U.S. Navy that helps the ships to navigate through the rough seas safely. When we talk about tracking weather conditions across the ocean, satellites play a significant role. There are special meteorological and weather tracking satellites that are orbiting around the Earth's poles, they are responsible for collecting information about clouds, air, water temperature, currents, dust storms, and ice coverage, allowing the U.S. Navy crew to monitor weather patterns over large areas. Weather buoys are the next most common type of weather forecast instrument used by the U.S. Navy. Currently, there are more than 1,000 weather buoys around the world which is a massive help to the Navy in planning their routes out in the ocean. These buoys can measure winds, waves, and barometric pressure, as well as air and sea temperatures. Data gathered can then be used to determine hurricane formation or dissipation, the extent of wind circulation, and center location. Moreover, the U.S. Navy is equipped with powerful environmental models such as Joint Typhoon Warning Center models and WaveWatch 3. These models utilize data from satellites, buoys, weather stations, and other sources to create accurate representations of the environment. In addition to all these external sources, all U.S. Navy ships are equipped with various onboard weather instruments, including anemometers to measure wind speed, barometers to measure atmospheric pressure, and weather radars to detect storms and precipitation. Based on these predicted weather conditions, the powerful navigation systems of the U.S. Navy allow ships to optimize their routes. Ships can plan alternative paths to avoid areas of high waves, strong currents, or adverse weather, which can possibly lead to instability of the ship or potentially cause capsizing events. Not to forget that it's not just about escaping the waves, Navy navigation systems also allow ships to calculate optimal speeds and headings to minimize the effects of rough seas. Now let me ask you a question, have you ever been on a ship during rough seas? What was it like? Share your experience with us in the comments below. Crew training and safety procedures, let's not forget amidst all the cutting-edge technologies and advanced systems, the true soul of the U.S. Navy lies within the unsung heroes its remarkable and courageous crew members. After all, the fate of the ship is in their hands. For these reasons, the U.S. Navy leaves no stone unturned when it comes to training its sailors for the worst. The crew goes through rigorous, extensive training to ensure they are well prepared and know exactly what to do when encountering harsh weather conditions. Techniques they learn could one day make a difference between life and death. In fact, their training is recalled rather regularly through onboard drills, including an emergency drill, damage control drill, abandoned ship drill, man overboard drill, crisis management drill, and crew survival training drill. Let's have a look at some of these drills. Damage control is the emergency control of situations that may cause the capsizing or sinking of the vessel. The crew is trained to respond quickly to flooding or damage to the ship or equipment. In case of a capsizing event, they learn how to quickly identify and control leaks, operate pumps, and seal compartments to prevent further damage and maintain the ship's stability. Next, the evacuation drill procedure prepares the crew to evacuate the ship safely, launch the lifeboats, don life jackets, and gather essential survival equipment in a capsizing event when abandoning the ship is the only option. Also, man overboard drills train everyone for the event that a crew member falls overboard during rough seas. This drill prepares the remaining crew to execute a swift and organized rescue operation and to follow medical emergency procedures. Through all of these emergency procedures, establishing effective communication is essential to form coordination with the other crew members. In addition, they must keep a vigilant watch round the clock as they are continuously monitoring the weather forecasts and sea conditions. 
Their keen observation and decisive decision-making skills help them to make crucial decisions in a timely manner that will ultimately decide the fate of the ship. Modern advances and future improvements, with the advancements in science and technology, naval engineering continues to evolve at a rapid rate, poised to transform the future of naval vessels. Let's look at some of the modern advances and future improvements that the U.S. Navy is currently exploring. First and foremost, the U.S. Navy is gradually embracing the use of lightweight composite materials to build ships. These materials not just reduce the overall weight of the ship but also maintain its structural integrity and are more resistant to corrosion. All of these go hand in hand to prevent capsizing. Other than that, let's talk about something not too commonly heard the virtual reality training of the crew. Remember that crew training is a vital factor to ensure the ship's stability through rough seas, since one small mistake can escalate situations immediately. So, with the help of virtual reality training, the crew is able to experience realistic simulations of various sea conditions, including turbulent weather and deadly storms. It helps the crew to develop effective decision-making skills and practice crew coordination, which is crucial for efficient teamwork. In addition to this, the U.S. Navy is also working on creating adaptive hull surfaces that are capable of adjusting to changing sea conditions. Yes, you heard that right, the hull would be able to change its shape based on the speed of the ship and sea conditions it encounters. It not just helps to keep the ship stable in rough waters but also enhances the hydrodynamic efficiency, resulting in the reduction of fuel consumption, a win-win situation. Another intriguing prospect is the integration of artificial intelligence and the stability systems of U.S. Navy ships. AI algorithms could continuously analyze sensor data and adjust stabilizers in real-time, making split-second calculations to counteract adverse conditions. We're looking towards a future where U.S. Navy vessels are equipped with self-learning systems capable of anticipating and preventing potential capsized scenarios. These advancements might very well change the game for future naval operations, and we're all eager to see what's next. This brings up a question, are there any current or former sailors out there who've weathered a storm aboard a naval ship? How did it feel? What was your experience like? We'd love to hear your stories and insights, share them with us in the comments below. Lastly, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more riveting videos on the U.S. Navy and its operations. Click the bell icon to stay updated. See you in the next one.